Yo, this is Gamer Cyprian, or just call me Gamer, and we're gonna be commenting uh, Toronto Regionals Top 8 Best of 3 between uh, Paul Chua and Justin Tank. Paul Chua happened to be finalist in this tournament, and it is he's one of the best players in the world. That's why it seemed to be worth watching and commenting and we're gonna be watching it at two times speed and without voice let's get started you can see basically masters bracket there are no semi-finalists they're battling for a semi-final Paul Chua and Justin Tank Yeah, there was battle between Andrew Crook and Chupa Cross 4, which we're gonna bust the best of three, which we're gonna comment later. Since yeah, Chupa Cross 4 was a winner in this tournament. Let them talk for a while. We're gonna see battle probably in like 30 seconds. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, you can see our players. Paul Chua, six times regional champion. World top four national North America international champion finalist. And I'll stop for a while to comment his team. Okay, Heatran and Iron Hands. Among us, Roaring Moon. Flattermain, Lander Osterian. Iron Hands, of course, is holding Assault Vest and he, he has the move Fake Out to steal the turn, to steal the first turn on a Pokemon that isn't a ghost. Uh, he has Terra Water to protect against. <coughs> Fire move makes him resistant to fire. <laughs> and lifts lifts the resistance to ground leaves the problem of super effective ground type move. Uh, Assault Vest is classical and it has a move Volt Switch, which is uh, yeah, which makes safe switch. Drain punch is classical, wild charge is classical, like strong stab moves. Heatran has Shuka Berry, yeah. I've already commented that it lifts the problem, uh, it weakens the power of super effective ground type moves. But it simultaneously has the um, Fairy Terra, which also lifts the problem of uh, ground type super effective moves, making it neutral. It has Protect, like good players have, pro Protect to steal, for example, Trick Room, Stall. As well as his Roaring Moon, which has only two offensive moves and booster energy to boost the power of his amazing attack. Knock off to, to knock off the item, which uh, has been seen in earlier tournament by the winner Michael Zeng by Tyranitar. Among Us is pretty much obvious doesn't need to be explained classical moveset, supportive pokemon, redirector, healer, turn stealer 
and put her asleep. <laughs> also, flutter, yeah, hyper offensive option, and it has choice specs. Yeah, it will be hitting hard, connecting the, connecting it with Terra, Fairy, a lot of damage from special side. And Landorus, Intimidator with Choice Scarf, super fast Landorus. It has multi uh, multi opponent hitting moves like Rock Slide. And you turn to escape first turn. I, of course, haven't seen this battle yet. It will be my first experience, so I don't know what happened there. And I can tell it, it there's no Tirewind on this team. And no uh, no trick room there are slow pokemon like iron hands iron hands is very slow and among us among us is at least tanky but iron hands is with assault vest isn't that bad it has drain punch to heal it's like 50 percent offensive team Hyper offensive with Flutter and Rolling Moon. Landorus. It is also offensive with Rock Slide and Choice Scarf. It will be moving first. So, fastest Pokemon in this team are Flutter, Lando, and Rolling Moon. Among Us is super slow. Iron Hands is slow. Heatran isn't. It's like average. Let's go. Let's go further. Into a second player's team. It's like mixed, very mixed team. Justin Tank, Peoria original top 16. Yeah, so it happened like really recently. For Twain in 23, probably in regulation A. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Uh, okay, he also has a Mungus. And Iron Hands, the same Pokemon as opponent. And but his Iron Hands, it also has has the same Terra of Terra Water. Has the same item as Old Vest, Fake Out, Wild Charge, Drain Drain Punch. The only difference is Heavy Slam to kill Flutter Mains. Yeah. So uh, if uh, Paul Chua has Flutter Main, will he die to Heavy Slam? It seemed to be tanky enough to survive Dazzling Gleam with Assault Vest. But if he terrestrializes to Fairy, Iron Hands may be in trouble. And yeah, it has the variant of, of Hoenn Dragon Salamence. Paul has. Uh, Paul has Roaring Moon and uh, Justin has Salamence. Terra flying. Oh, and it has choice scarf, it will be locked. It's, so it's super fast Salamence with Hurricane. Sp special. It's a special attacker. It will be boosting the power of Hurricane and Nerf Slash. And also Tilewind. It will be really fast. So it is a Tilewind team. Another fast Pokemon is Iron Bundle with booster energy, which is always run on, on Iron Bundle. I was coached this. It has Terra Ghost to avoid potential fake out. Like, yeah, Paul Chua has f fake out on Iron Hands. Will, will it happen? But it has Protect to defend. Also, also that goes Terra. So we don't know which option he will he choose. Yeah, supportive Pokemon with exactly the same move set. Yeah, and kind. Another Tilewind, yeah, has Pelipper with White Guard, which he may protect from Dazzling Gleam. If if Paul uses the, if Justin uses Pelipper first turn, and uh, which is like uh, it is likely scenario, and uh, Paul uses uh, Flutter Main, yeah, White Guard may protect against. Uh, dazzling gleam and so yeah this this team will go with speed it's rather different than Paul's team 
Yeah, the Salamence is a menace. It's the fastest Pokemon on the field. And Paul has no Trick Room. And of course there is Goldengo. With Terra Dragon, which is kind of new discovery. Leftovers. It, is, it doesn't seem the best item for Goldengo. But it has Protect, so it may be slowly healing. It, is, it doesn't seem a bad player. Of course, Nasty Plot and Make It Rain. And Shadow Ball. So yeah, classical Goldengo. This would be dangerous. Salamence plus Goldengo on first turn, maybe? Or Salamence and Iron Bundle? Hmm. Doesn't seem to have much sense to power up uh, with Iron Hands with Tailwind. Yeah, it, will, it may be raining actually, first turn. Make it rain. Yeah, Goldengo is dangerous Pokemon. Let's get started. A Mungus, probably, it will be probably like not on the first, not on the lead by Justin. <sighs> and yeah, we got Pelipper, and there's Fluttermane. What, what may happen? White Guard will happen, and there is a Mungus supportive Pokemon. Will Dazzling Gleam happen? Will Terra Fairy happen? Oh, he goes for Protect. Flutter goes for Shadow Ball on Amoongus, which does a lot of damage, but Citrus Berry heals. Oh, Amoongus is dead? No? It's tanky. Someone got Sport. Paul got Sport. Something, someone sleeps. Flutter sleeps. That's a, that's a bad, bad news. It's main, main special attacker. Sleeps. Among Us got switched and Goldengo comes out. It will be raining. It's raining, but it will, it will be raining with gold and hurricane. Yes, is 100% accuracy in the rain. Rain was activated by Pelipper, basically. There's a water. Yeah. Power of water is it's stronger. And Terra Dragon Goldengo appears by Justin. And yeah, it's raining and flat. Super effective damage is flatter is dead. First, first KO against Polchua. And Heatran is dead. Wow. Paul lost two Pokemon. Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon. May, yeah, if he has uh, dragon moves. Golden Golden Goy Terra Fairy, you know what does it mean? Super effective. Spellipper got swept and Among Us, yeah, I thought so. Among Us will appear with Regenerator activates. Roaring Moon starts to Dragon Dancing boosting as Golden Go to It's dangerous. Raining will be by Golden Go will be hard right now. Wait, wait, wait. Amungus. Amungus may leave actually, make it rain, but it protects. Rage powder. Okay, he's trying to redirect. Uh, Amungus had no item. And now he's plus. Goldengo is plus four. Dangerous actually. I think Paul's gonna lose this first battle. And there's Terra on Terra Water on Amungus. By who? By Paul. Roaring Moon protects from Make It Rain. From Make It Rain? Yes. And the other Pokemon dies? No? Yeah, Water resists still, that's how he survived, but I'm surprised. Is it very tanky among us? And yeah, Justin lost first Pokemon, and there's Salamence with Intimidate. Good strategy, good, really good, good, yeah, good opening. I think Justin's gonna win this battle. And Polchua doesn't look happy. I mean, that's maybe an expression. And there's Tirewind, yeah. There's a Choice Scarf Salamence, you should remember. Super fast. And Acrobatics by... Salamence doesn't do a lot of damage. Goldengo heals with leftovers. It may use Protect, but battle was cancelled. Yeah, really good play. Really good team. 
choice curve seem to be working. Speed seem to be working with Hellman's. With intimidation, I'm surprised it didn't appear more. Mm, there's a replay with yeah, for, yeah hit run dying. His pulse leading Pokemon dies. There's nasty plot. Yeah, plus four nasty plot. Amazing. Make it rain. Make it rain. Yeah, we know actually Paul advanced to the finals, so we know he's gonna win this. Right now he doesn't look happy. And yeah, there's another battle. There's a Salamence on lead, Intimidate activates. Yeah, Roaring Moon goes, attack goes down. There's a supportive Pokemon to Salamence, Amungus, Redirector. Dazzling Gleam won't be working very good on a Moon Goose, but yeah, he Justin got scared that Salamence would die to Dazzling Gleam probably. There's Terra what Terra flying on Running Moon. Yeah, he's gonna use acrobatics. His booster energy was consumed, and the Moon Goose died. Justin loses first Pokemon. And it's raining because of Pelipper's Drizzle ability. And there's Goldengo. Massive killer from first round. I wonder if he's gonna use Nasty Plot. If he's gonna, if his Make It Rain will, yeah, repeat. He uses Protect. And Salamence at this time uses Dragon Dance to start boosting. Uh, Roaring Moon. And yeah, there's damage on Flutter. Flutter still leaves. Yeah, Acrobatics will do major damage on Pelipper. It's resisted by Steel type Goldengo. But did, did he terastalize? Salamence again, yeah, it's the yeah. Salamence may die. Roaring Moon is now at minus four. The item, item was knocked off and Salamence is dead. And Hurricane on the reins, 100% accuracy makes contact. And Flutter still leaves. So Paul didn't lose a Pokemon yet. Terra Stalization on Goldengo Terra Dragon as we saw earlier. Terra Stalize the same Pokemon. Protection and now first Shadow Ball on Go, super effective Shadow Ball on, no, neutral Shadow Ball on Goldengo since it is a dragon now. And Goldengo picks up a KO, first KO against Paul. Flutter is dead. And yeah, Goldengo is taking usage of his leftovers. He's healing a little, but it has low health, it doesn't look too good. Now, yeah, now fake out is possible. Iron Hands is on the field. But, wow. So Justin gave up. I'm a little bit surprised. But yeah, this fake out was act, yeah, was possible. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Maybe it didn't have much chance. But I guess I wouldn't give up. If I were just in. <laughs> and yeah, third battle. Will we see Terra Dragon Goldengo in this battle? And yeah, we can see Goldengo first on the lead with Amongus. It may be raining again. Protect, no healing, double protect. So if, yeah, fake out I thought so is and yeah doesn't work. Heat wave should be super effective on Among Us doesn't work as well as super effective on Goldengo. So now Golden yeah, Justin has to do something to Goldengo. Maybe terastalize to Dragon to make him resistant to heat wave or switch. Yes, switch. Salamence? No, Pelipper. Yeah, now Heat Wave will be weaker. Yes, good. 
Wild, but Wild Charge is four times effective. I don't know if he had, didn't he see that? But Spore puts Iron Hands asleep. So basically Justin lost first Pokemon. While without Paul losing any. Goldengo comes back. So Heatwave won't be much so much effective. I would tell uh, Intimidation on I it has an effect on Iron Hands and Nasty plot starts to be working. Salamence Intimidate uh, Iron Hands is sleeping so far, but I wonder for how long. Regenerator activated. Yeah, Heatland is pretty difficult to be killed, but it woke up. And save switch. With Volt Switch, Iron Hands was preserved for later, for better type matchup possibly. And there's the Roaring Moon with Acrobatics and Booster Energy. A, lo a lot of attack. It, is, it isn't anti intimidated yet. Will he do a lot of damage? He he's, he's likely to kill Among Us actually. Salamence. There there is intimidation, which has an effect on Salamence too. Yeah, the power of acrobatics will go down. And yeah, not very effective heat wave on Salamence. On in the rain does a little damage. Okay, Among Us, but which is like completely healed, doesn't. Makes sense, can, regenerator can't be used. Or it was healed earlier. It's raining, and this, uh, remember this Salamence is scarfed. Which means he's locked into only one move, but he's super fast. Terra Stalization on water by, by Paul. So many Terra Stalizations on the Mungus. And Hurricane, yeah. He's, Salamence has been locked into Hurricane, which makes sense on the rain. Salamence has a lot of special attack. Spore. Oh, this rain stopped, so now Hurricane won't be so effective, won't be so accurate. And Salamence may be in trouble, because he's choice locked. Now Hurricane may, will he be missing? Yes. <laughs> and Heatwave is missing 95%. Not very effective against both opponents, Amongus and Salamence, Dragon and Water. And another Hurricane miss. This, this rain isn't working, Re lack of rain isn't working. But we got a heal from Amongus, Salamence is healed. Salamence is almost at full health right now. And there's Goldengo for a third time in this battle. And yeah, Hurricane makes contact. And Heatran finally goes down, but that's really bad for Justin. Since it, at this point he, he lost, uh, yeah, he picked up only a 1k in this battle. Another Hurricane and Hurricane miss. So many Hurricanes. Golden goes dead. And it woke up, and yes, neutral neutral damage, but a lot of damage because of a lot of attack. And Among Us appears, regenerator activated, it's healed. Another hurricane and knockoff, yeah. Salamence is defeated. Choice card been lo lost, and yeah. Wild, super effective wild charge, wild charge killed. Terra Water, Among Us, and Poltrua Advanced. Yeah, surprised how... A little bit surprised, amazed how Justin destroyed Paul at first round. And how, how Justin was destroyed in f later. A replay. Hmm. Yeah, hurricane. It was a lot of hurricanes.
in this but in this third battle. Sleeping Iron Hands knockoff. Two Pokemon died to knockoff of Salamence, which may be a proof how effective, how worth is it to use that move. Personally, I don't think it's like crazily good. I was thinking about replacing it with Crunch, since Crunch is 80% accuracy, knockoff is only 65, but it works. Dropping items, dropping item, items seem to me like having rather occasional usage, but it works sometimes. So maybe it's not that bad. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy my comment. Leave a like to help the video promotion. Subscribe if you like. And see you again in another videos. Bye, Gamer Cyprian. Or just call me Gamer. <laughs>